Hi, my name is Jonathan Roman, and I'm a lawyer with Doolin, Platt, and Satara. We're a law firm that advocates for the elderly, particularly those who are nursing homes. My dad is 91 years old, and he's in a nursing home. Like most of you with family in a nursing home, it's been really tough. We haven't been able to visit him, and it's been very difficult to get information about him or what's been happening in his particular nursing home. We got the impression that things were under control, and then I saw a very concerning story in the news about his particular nursing home. I was calling for several days, but was not able to get a hold of anyone to get information about my dad or what was going on in the nursing home. I finally tried calling late at night when most of the residents were asleep and was able to get someone on the phone. Thankfully, I was told that my dad was okay, but like most people uh, in my situation, it was a very nerve wracking place to be. There are a lot of people in my situation and they have a lot of questions about how to best handle what's going on. Not being able to visit or see your loved one is a very difficult place to be. Not being able to get all the information is also a very difficult situation. Some nursing homes are starting to set up FaceTime and Zoom calls, and those are certainly ways to try to manage what's going on. If your particular nursing home has not done that, you might want to ask if they can make those arrangements. My dad's nursing home is also starting to collect cards and letters and pictures and videos from the family in a more organized way as a way to support them and to maintain the connection. That might be something you can think about doing and may want to ask them about. If you're having trouble getting through to anyone to get information, you may want to do what I did, which is to call late in the evening when they might not be so busy and you have a better chance to get a hold of someone. If you have a particular person in the nursing home that you usually speak with, like a nurse or an aide or a social worker, you might want to ask if you can set up a regular phone call with them or if they can send you a, a regularly scheduled email with a quick update uh, so that you can be informed as to how your loved one is doing. We all appreciate and understand the very difficult job that the nurses and the aides and everyone else in the nursing home has. This is a very difficult time for everyone. We're going to stick together, though, and we're going to get through this. Our thoughts and our best wishes are with you all.